<laughs> oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I know. Game three, right? Yes, game number three. Exactly. Exact Mondo, Mirko. So we're going to go to the drafting phase of game number three here. Alter Ego once again with the first pick. Evos with the second. But you can see here, rather than the Estus ban from Evos, they're going to opt for a Diggy ban like they did in game number one. Fanny and the Joy is going to be the choice here for Alter Ego. Evos will also Come follow on, up with Dexter. an Arlet. It's our Your show time. Is it banning. By taking away the Claw. Already adjustments right from set of Alter Ego now with that Claw ban. They let it go. First game and as well as second. Evos Legends, where will they go here without the Claude? Somehow forced Hello, to ban my that friend. Melissa, but no, Your they will target kidding. Rossi from the first phase. Dude, there's no Three. Claude. Three, God. right? Three heroes. Man, oh my god, SS and Diggy here. Need man. some stitches? I what can help. Your team <laughs> is we go do? Melissa still here. Oh, predicted man. Evos Legends. What are they going for? That's a that's a question, Donny, because I am I am not able to answer it. it right now. Diggy SS leaving the Melissa open. I feel like the Melissa is one of the ways they were able to completely dominate Evos that game, but maybe they want to take the alter ego route to try to counter the Melissa. Maybe they want to go for the Beatrix, right? But because right now, I think, again, the Valentino Lapu can work, but then they will have to go for the Beatrix in the third pick, and that, it's still very scary though. It's still so hard to pull off here. I don't know, this is, again, very concerning. Evo's Legends have left the Melissa open. open. They go for the Lapu and the, the, the Farsa, not the Valen. So already some adjustments here made from the side of Evo's. All right. With both of these picks being picked up, it is going to deny it away from Udil, but he's still at... will still be able to pick up the Valentina, right? The Valentina exactly. has been an immense figure for Alter Ego. Especially in that first game with Udil picking up the MVP as well. They can totally utilize that, be able to pick up the Feather Airstrike away from the far side as well, or even go in for the Bravest Fighter. Valakins are rather game, so betray the world. To let the world be the betray to live is to trick the Reaper. Now they can't, they can't. They already have the Farsa, so... Valen Gold? If they really want to force it, but it does horrible against the Melissa in lane. Yeah. I personally have seen the matches where Melissa stomp on the Valentina Gold, and I have been in matches where I'm on the Melissa stomping on Valentina Gold. It does not suit the Melissa matchup, Connie. Yeah, this is going to be very tough here for Bronze. It has to be Beatrix. They have to pick it here, Beatrix right? Beatrix here, they need to pick it up, right? Um, if not, banned. 100%. It's going to be banned years. out, right? You've lost Legends, though, without. He, uh, the Rossi Zero secured in that first phase. They will again target Rossi here in the second phase, limiting his option. Perhaps that is going I to be the approach from Evos. But no, they are for a hero for dreams here, picking up the Kaja. So again, somehow sacrificing that gold lane that is just up for grabs to be banned out. They're looking for a sure way to get. Nino off the board, right? They tried it with Kadira, it didn't work. And then in the second game, they tried it with Hilda, it didn't work. So perhaps they are going for the Kaja this time around. The ocean so we'll is see. not just with our goal. Banning out the Atlas, Alter Ego, are. they are going to be able to ban out the Beatrix if they want to. Time and tide wait for you no man is banned. I have a question though here. Miracle, I keep asking you about this because you're like the gold laner god. Hey, basically, man. right? I'm Nino. Top global at everything, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If Evos pick up something like the Wan Wan, does that work yes. against the Melissa? It does, it does. It's a skill matchup in the end, but the Melissa it does have a little bit of an advantage here. I think that may be what Evo's Legends are going for, but again, it's very risky you. here because well, with the Lolita ban, it really kind of already sets up for it. Alter Ego, I think there's no doubt that they will read through with this. Like, there's no way. Yeah. Again, this is what we've seen as well. Um, earlier on against Evo's Legends, I believe the Geek Slate match, the ones that they won, it was Claude and Wan Wan banned in the first <laughs> phase. And yep, there you go. It's giving the Melissa ban. There's no way it gets left down. I don't think Alter Ego will fall for something like that here. 
in the stage where it matters most. Evo's legends have dropped the ball, in my opinion, in the first phase here. Can they catch it? Let's see here, Alter Ego. Very, very smart ban. Good thing that they are able to locate that 1-1 one, one ban. Thorns remain. Should it's gonna be the Lancelot here even first to set the tone in that second phase. Lancelot, thanks a lot. Alter Ego, they can't easily respond with the Barats. Mm -hmm. If not the Barats, uh, with the Barats, um, Hero for Rossi. You know what, why not go crazy here? Why not go crazy? What is Rafaela. crazy? Rafaela is a What's option, and speaking about the Rafaela, right, it oh. reminds me of... It reminds me of Venus, right? Bonchan has a comment here, the majority of teams that use this Ube strategy have won their respective MPL, such as Evo's Legends and MPL ID Season 7, and Evo Singapore in MPL SG Season 1. So, Alter no. Ego, if you want to reach the finals, use this strategy, because it's a super effective strategy. So far, Alter Ego have been utilizing that Ube type of composition, and they have come this far to close out the first phase with Hoopra and Yakai. Evos oh. respond with a carry here. Single target up against uh, Colt. Oh my god. Colt Alter. Black Dragon form. A Melissa who's going to bully you, outranging you. It's a recipe for disaster for Evos Legends. They're going to need to pull off another miracle. Gani. Not looking good, man. This is not looking good. But again, Alter Ego. Pressure, though, is really on them as well, right? They need to be able to execute this draft. If not, we'll have to say bye-bye. EVOS Legends, will they be able to find the point that they need here? It's now or never, right? It's go big or go home for EVOS Legends. One more game. Once again, we would like to remind you, or they are going straight home alongside RRQ as well. So, Mirko, take us into the portal. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is, like Land of Dawn for game number three. It might as well be a 3-0 for Alter Ego, for Evo's Legends, an uphill battle from hell. What will happen here, folks? Let's wait and see. It's gonna be Alter Ego and Evos Legends. Two flickers here for side of Alter Ego. And it seems like, yeah, just nothing out of the ordinary. It's just brands here picking up the Purify, knowing that the crowd control from side of Alter Ego is just so heavy. You have the Kufra, you have the Yuzong with the Petrify, and you have the Akai. So brands with that Purify, Looks for that extra security. But you can see that Evo's Legends with the draft that they have set up, especially in the mid lane, right? With the Farsa and the Kaja, Lancelot as well. They want to be more aggressive than they were in game number two. And you can start to see it kind of hinder the movements of Rasi, right? On the Bufra. So we're going to see if they are going to be able to utilize it properly here in this early game. And if they're going to be able to contest these neutral objectives in this early game, because if they don't play aggressive, if they play passive, or if they play not according to their game plan here in the early game, that's just gonna set the tone for Alter Ego to take once again, like they did in the previous two games. Side, yeah. hmm, let's see here again, Alter Ego with a clear intention here, heavily pressuring towards that cap, the EXP, to create space for side of the gold lane here, right? So that Melissa and Carrie can help you 1v1s, and according to data, Melissa has that slight edge. So we'll see here the first neutral objective taste as well. But it seems like EVOS Legends will really commit and contest here. Alter Ego though, let's see, they're slightly behind because Akai will grab that purple buff first. Rossi already charging into Tyrus Revenge. Gonna be able to spot dreams in that bush. Icons with the Bravest Fighter now onto Udil with the Feather Airstrike popped in as well. The Cole Alter gives Sally Boy a bit more room to play onto the turtle. Taz gonna be zoned away. Sally Boy not able to find the retry. Taz will fall. First blood over to Evo's Legends, but Alter Ego will be able to trade it back. The turtle, however, was taken by Dreams. Wow, already a very, very intense 
first fight there. Finally a good and somehow a very, very unpredictable fight, right? Here, Talon's prediction is 4v2. Still favoring Alter Ego for a reason, right? I feel like they have more uh, well-rounded composition. Well, they have the verse, the verse, they have DPS, and also they have more than one hero that can crowd control you in that fight during 5v5, especially in EVOS Legends. Let's see, one good thing that I love from side of EVOS Legends is they have a good high ground. Top side. A lot of damage placed onto Pai there with Hijume rotating on top, but Pai still surviving will mean that he will be able to sustain back up. Psychos not wasting any time there with the Bravest Finder instantly ready. Dreams having the Divine Judgment. Rossi is not in the push. Still going to be able to find a Tyrus Revenge though as Taz is going to be invaded. Selly Boy looking for it, but Taz secures the camp in the jungle. Both teams still trading. Yep, still trading, but it's Evil Sledges with a slight advantage here in the early stage of the game. 500. It's not so much, it's not too great. Gonna be able to turn it around quickly, but that shows that Evil's Legends are still putting up a fight here in the early game. Despite the talent's prediction as well, Barassi! Oh, oh purifying to play with Hijume brought back. Still able to flicker. Good calculation by Hijume, saving it for the last second. Man, uh, two flickers now on cooldown for set of EVOS Legends. Perhaps that's the information that they have. Alter Ego might force a fight here with the spells that they have. Perhaps they should take advantage of that here. Rossi will not connect, but it seems like Alter Ego here will prile that turtle. Top lane already been cleared first by Psychots. Roaming already down below for the XP lane. Udo still holding on to the mid wave. Shadow Stampede, getting a bit more vision, knowing Psychots is there. Evo Legends have a man advantage. Rossi is charging the Tyrant's Revenge. Nino, barely getting to level 7 now. Both teams still setting up for it. Evo Legends and Alter Ego. Brands clearing out the mid wave. Getting more setup. Psychots diving in with the Bravest Spider, but we'll be caught in the Tyrant's Revenge right now as everybody jumps in. Sally Boy still holding on to the heavy spin, but it might be a mistake here. It might not be a mistake as well. Pi with Black Dragon form, zoning Evo Legends away. The turtle. It's still going to be targeted down. Taz is looking for oh. it, but it's going to be Nino who secures it. Now Taz brought back to the team, pinned down to the wall by the heavy spin. Alter Ego have won the neutral objective battle. Man, both turtles, both of these first turtles were not taken by the junglers, but rather the other members of the team. Alter Ego here, going to be able to pick up that second one, but it is going to fall into the hands of Nino. Luckily, you can see that Pai was waiting patiently, opened it up in the last second after the resources were popped up to be able to cancel that Feather Airstrike as well. And then they were able to go back before as they were zoned out. But Dreams with a concealed play. Terrence Bench, but it's giving the Divine Judgment. Rossi gives his life for Nino to survive. Let's see here from the side of Alter Ego now. Again, pressure still now in the bottom side, but Pakai jumps in here trying to find an opening and it seems like with this in mind, they're slightly behind on gold. EVOS Legends, finally good adjustments, right? They are able to control that early game. And if you see from the items, it also can slightly be translated. Lapu, Psychots, two, well, one steel leg plates here on his way towards that Bloodlust Axe. And the carry here is still farming up. Still just one item, but very soon, he's gonna collect two items where Melissa has, oh my god. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The Revenge and the Rage as well onto Hijume. What happened, what happened? Evo's Legends, both their carries down. What? Well, what went down there? I was just about to talk about the gold between both of the gold laners. Nino is actually behind in a winning lane, but with those kills, Nino should be ahead now. 2-0-1 as compared to Brands at 0-1-1. And Alter Ego instantly hold back the pressure and hold back the gold lead. Very, very similar. EVOS Legends, please repair. Now, what they need to do here, again, don't let this game be driven by Alter Ego, by just have more pressure. Let's see here, five man rotating oh, towards man, the Dreams. turtle. He finds the Divine Judgment right there, but the call Ultra is placed down, and look at Rossi, he was able to make out so much time, but Psychos! With the Raven Spider, is able to find the kill back 
The turtle's still going to Alter Ego, and they're still looking for the fight. Brand's gonna be dove on right now, and Pai looks for the kill. Brand's down. Hijime, low. Rasi's still able to buy some time as Udil is gonna be caught now. He doesn't have the resources necessary to take Evo's Legends down, but the Shadow Stampede grants him the escape. Phantom Execution onto Pai, but he is able to escape with the Furious Dive. Let's see here, Alter Ego still with the control, the 1,000 gold lead. But it was Evos Legends losing his marksman. Very costly here. Take a look at the instant replay here. Feather airstrike there. Very, very uh, in an awkward position. Cancelled instantly, but Selly Boy getting that clutch retribution, sacrificing for his life. And Pi in that back line, man. Very, very lethal yeah. as an EXP laner. Very critical kill. And that puts Alter Ego again ahead. Yeah, it was a 2 for one for EVO's Legends. They were able to get two kills on Alter Ego, but Alter Ego were still able to get the neutral objective. Divine Judgment, Brave Spider, everything. Udil, there's no way he survived this. Even with the heavy spin, he won't be able to disengage from that. EVO's Legends, they come alive in the third game, finally showing signs of life, showing they are in it to win it. Oh, Rust almost connects there, but... Yeah, Wind of Nature now collected by the side of Nino. So it adds more um, task for EVOS Legends. It adds more layers. If they really want to catch Nino, there's that Wind of Nature to perhaps nullify the physical damage that EVOS Legends can bring. And with that, a concealed play might occur here. Lancelot is able to escape. I don't know if he's able to escape here. Everything is used up. Taz, that's going to be the bouncing ball. That's a spade sealed, and look at the timing. Five seconds for the Lord. Alter Ego decided to go for that at the right time. They will give up the mid lane turret, but it is going to be worth it if they are able to secure this Lord. Dreams again, spawning Rossi out in the bush. Alter Ego committing onto the Lord with Taz still down. Brands though on the top side will be able to take tier twos like it's nothing. Because he most likely still want to go for the steal here. I don't think they, that it will happen. Rossi will secure it. Tyrant's Revenge and the Rage now locking Psychots down. It's a free kill to Alter Ego. Evo's Legends, they're able to trade. Tier 2's up top. Yeah, the weakness of the Ube, right? The weakness of crow Crowling as five around neutral objectives are those split pushes. And that's exactly what Evo's Legends are trying to do here in game number three. Finally, Brand's going to be able to get two turrets in the top side. That is going to give them a little bit more room to play with in the lanes. And oh, wait! Cold Alter, though, in heavy spin right now. Salibo able to pin Dreams down, but I don't think he wants to look for that. No Divine Judgment. Ooh. Massive resource. No heavy spin as well. But I think at this point, Alter Ego can just siege safely with no Divine Judgment. Things are not looking good here for the side of EVOS Legends. With that in mind, Rusty catching one. Sai Kotz is down. The tier two is down as well. Top side, Lancelot trying to split push. Brands of the Purify. Now, Feather Airstrike popped down to clear out the wave. Top lane has been cleared out, but Pai will be tasked with clearing it out, with preventing the split push from happening. Ultra Ego. Is there a reason for... Is there a reason, Ghani, that mm -hmm. they actually only utilized one wave down below? I don't know. I feel like that is one mistake that Alter Ego did. They didn't really manage their waves properly. And EVOS Legends, they saw a window to clear and relief off pressure topside, and they did. Item wise here, glowing one early for Udil. Oh. Just wants Rossi. Oh, Rossi, no follow up though. Two man though, but the Purify has been burnt out. No, Sally Boy's gonna be able to pin Brands down. No, Brands is still able to escape. Not for long though, everybody's running. For oh, Brands! Oh, GG. Brands still kiting. Pi will not give up in the chase. Brands is down. I repeat, Brands is down. Evos have lost their marksman. They lose their marksman, but at what cost, right? Alter Ego. They lost a turret as well, and that's a little bit more permanent than the damage that Alter Ego are putting onto Evos Legends up until this point. I feel like Evos, they're playing it rather intelligently here in game number three. It's become a 50-50. If Evos Legends are able to continue multiply on their manipulation on these side lanes and keep using this split push, Alter Ego could lose in that kind of fashion. Man, ladies and gentlemen, now let's see here another- Rossi! What in the world was that? Rossi with a play! 
and Alter Ego with the collapse. My goodness gracious, that was beautiful. Man, what an instinct there. What a gamble. Surely paid off there, taking two. Hijume gets taken down. And now, in the time for Lord, let's see though. Will Alter Ego commit this one and will EVOS Legends contest? Right now, with the play Alter Ego, they don't have a lot of resources to play with, so they need to be careful, right? Hijume has the ultimate Cyclops as well. Meanwhile, Alter Ego, they're a little bit lacking. They need to buy a little bit more time, perhaps, if they do want to go for a full 5v5. Realizing that Hijume is already back in business, back to be able to help out, but he's going to utilize the ultimate to clear that mid side, actually. Wow, Rossi again able to find Taz with the Tarnish Revenge. Taz able to escape for a bit, but the bouncing ball is there. The retribution by Selly Boy. He wants this kill badly, but in the bottom side in the mid lane, Evil's Legends are looking for the split push. Lapu, Taz with trying to distract. Alter Ego will be able to find the kill onto Taz. That's why he's able to distract oh, oh, oh. in the bottom lane. But the base threat will fall right now as Evil's Legends claims it. Alter Ego are not able to trade it with anything except for Taz's life. Evil's Legends with a value. Man, EVOS Legends, they're down, but they do not care. They're looking for a proactive play. It paid off. In the bot side, they're based on it, taken down. And let's see here, with Taz down 15 seconds, it seems like Alter Ego is able oh. to find another, the next Lord. Let's see. Good read by Udil, stopping Dreams. Rossi dies, but it's all going to be worth it right now with the go away. Dreams will not be able to find the Divine Judgment on Nino. He is unstoppable. Alter Ego have played it well. Oh man, that could have gone much worse, honestly, for Alter Ego. Evo's Legends, once again, they're playing the map very intelligently. The inhibitor turret in the bottom side is already down, so that lane automatically is going to be pushing for Evo's Legends. Luckily, they were able to get the Lord, and they need to maximize on this as much as possible. Rasi still two seconds left to respawn. But this is so 50-50. It's getting even more intense here in the 15th minute of the game. It's very intense. 2,000 gold lead alter ego now still with the control. But this time, what, differ what the difference is, EVOS Legends, they have some sort of a game plan. They understand the trades here. And looking at the items here, carry here one item away to having full items, right? So that is, should be the main concern of Alter Ego. If they prolong this, carry might deal a lot of damage. Remember, a lot of tanky units from side of Alter Ego. They have Akai, they have Yudzong, they have Rasi. That ca Brands can just melt. Let's see, though. That's Vayser for number one. Taken down. Already. <laughs> Tier two up top as well. Falling. Taken down by Alter Ego. 3.7k and... Alter Ego have taken basically the same amount of turrets as Evo's Legends. So, Evo's Legends have been performing really well this game. Alter Ego still using new ways crashing in, but I don't think he, they will be able to utilize it more here. Maybe they will. Dream through the Divine Judgment, but it's only on the Selly Boy right now. It might be a mistake. It might be a disaster. Dreams is down. Alter Ego, they capitalized on a slight mistake. Taz poked down by Nino, who's able to pop that Inspire. Only one base turret left. Can they defend? Man, three more waves are crashing here. Mirko as well as Goni. On top of that, Uriel has more damage with the Holy Crystal as they go in once again for the siege through this mid side. Conceal already. Psychos with Brave Spider now going to be knocked up by Rossi Uzi as he finds the Tower of Bench. Sally Boy onto the back, able to find a heavy spin, but Brand has been left untouched. Nino as well, though. Both the marksmen. Battling it out, but Alter Ego, three base turrets, they can be happy with that trade. Man, a good defense from EVOS Legends, right? That's their best scenario where they can hold out their base without losing anybody. Alter Ego, though, on the other side, also good offense, right? They didn't manage to overstay. They also do not did not overcommit. It's another reset here still, favoring the side of Alter Ego. Man, oh, things are getting even more intense, right? But Pi, what? Oh, 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 that's the ultimate use. Stop, Rossi oh. again baits out the Purify. Dreams has been baited down. Meanwhile, in the top lane, though, look at what Evil's Legends have been doing. They have been doing 
If Sunny Boy steals Sunny Boy's coming! He's walking. He's getting there. But he will not be able to make it in time as Taz secures it for Evos Legends. A good trade for Evos. Alter Ego. Unable to read that play. A good outplay there from side of Evos Legends. They somehow saw that they can commit on towards the floor top side. Realizing that Pi and friends were committing on towards dreams there. With that in, with that in mind, Evos Legends just stepped on the gas and commit on towards that Lord. Now 3,000 gold lead only. Let's see, Evos Legends, oh. will they be able to gain more with this Lord? But it seems like, yeah, it's just a simple clear. Oh my god, Selling Boy wants to engage right there. Pending Dreams down, Rossi! Only finding one member with the Tyrant's Revenge right now. Selling Boy's gonna be brought back to the team with the call. Alter not able to get there in time. Oh, Nino. Nino in the back, with the nature. Able to kite Taz away right now. Selling Boy's gonna be taken very low. He's gonna be taken down by Brands. Udil's next on the chopping block. Evo's Legends! 18 minutes in, have taken down the frontliner for Alter Ego. This might be it. This might be the chance for Evo's to come back. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh. oh, Nino barely gets out alive, and he, if he was taken there and then, that would have been GG for Alter Ego. But look at how Evo's legends are striking back. Hijome opening up his ultimate as they're going for the siege in that mid and bottom lane. They're going for the end right now. Pine with Black Dragon for him, zoning them away with a bundle placement as well, being super on point for Nino. Lord down below, taking the base server down. But Alter Ego will be able to micromanage it right now. Selly Boy respawns. Three seconds left. Alter Ego trying to defend their final, final base turret. But he goes like, you won't be able to take it. Rossi, though, finds the, the Tyrant's Revenge and the Rage. Hijume will be able to flick her out. The Call Alter comes down. Meanwhile, the base! Oh my Tyrus god. Is looking for the end. This might just be it. This might be the game. Alter Ego hit fumble the bag. Evo Legends with a sublime macro play. The split push. The miracle. Evos prolong the series, forcing a game at number four as the White Tigers strike back. And this is the Evos that we know and love. They don't drown 